Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're installing a driveway catch basin system. The problem is that water has been pooling in their driveway and it's uphill to the street. So the solution is to add some catch basins to a sump pump and the pump will lift this water up and send it to the street. <clears throat> okay, so we've got a driveway that water has been just pulling across and just sitting in the drive. So it's actually uphill from here to the street. So we've put in two catch basins, one small six by six, another larger nine by nine, and this line actually runs all the way back to the sump pit, where we've also hooked up the downspout into the sump pit. Then the pump has a two inch discharge, and that pump now runs through the same trench and all the way out to the street. It may seem a little backwards, but it actually works really well because there's no way to get that water to drain out here to the curb. So this is where it discharges. And you can see we've made a little V cut to let the water out. And here's our two inch discharge. So the first thing that we need to do is trench a line from the house all the way out to the street. We do this with a ditch switch. And you can see here we're putting the boom of the ditch switch down into the soil. It starts to cut, and we're going to send it all the way out to the street. While I'm doing this, I've got the guys digging the sump pit, which is right by the house. And we'll speed this video up. And you can see how quickly we dig this trench. You know, if you're going to do a project yourself, you can definitely hand dig it, but the ditch switch is available at most rental stores, about 120 a day, and it will make your life so much easier. It digs a very clean trench, pulverizes the soil, very easy to move around and push it back into the trench when you backfill. Remember, the reason that we're doing this for this customer is because right there where you see that white pipe that's where this water just sits in his driveway and basically his driveway is going to break and crack they can't even step out of their car when it rains so we've got to discharge this water back to the house because it's uphill from where I'm at to the street So let's go ahead and set this sump pit we've already perforated the pit by drilling holes all around the bottom and the sides now we're cutting off this nipple, and this nipple will be the inlet for that downspout drain right there. We always attach a downspout to our system if it's close by. Next, we're going to drill an inlet into the pit. This is much lower, but this is bringing the catch basins there that we're installing by the driveway into the pit. Now I'm going to plumb the sump pump. Basically, I'm making some measurements using my hacksaw cutting inch and a half pipe because that's the size of the discharge as it comes out of the pump although we will switch to two inch right away to help this flow a little easier to the street cut your pipe clean your burrs next thing I'm going to do is attach the check valve and the check valve allows water to only flow one way this way as the pump kicks on because it is uphill all the way to the street, we don't want that water to run back into the pit, into our pump. It helps save the pump, it helps save the impeller, it just makes your pump last a lot longer. Tighten up the no hubs, these are just clamps. Next I'm going to cut a small riser coming from the check valve where we'll put a 90 and it will come out through the middle of the pit. A good hacksaw is a real plus when you're doing work with PVC. Make sure you have a good sharp blade and you can cut right through this stuff. Now I'm going to dry fit all of these connections into the sump pit. I apologize, I've got a GoPro on my head and so it moves around a lot as I turn and look for parts and things like that. 
But now we're ready to tighten the clamp onto the nail hub using a 5 16 inch bit with just a small handheld drill we can tighten that clamp quite quickly have your glue handy or have someone hand it to you and we're ready to set our riser now we're just making the measurement and you can see that I'm a little bit too high this is just barely below the surface and I want this discharge to be very safe and underground you see my thumb there it's just too high on the side of the pit even though that would be underground let's go ahead and make it a little bit deeper so again I've only dry fitted things and I can easily pull them apart I'm going to cut off about a couple inches here of the riser from the discharge of the pump and replumb this so that it's a little bit deeper Working in PVC is actually pretty easy, so as long as you cut things longer, it's pretty easy to make an adjustment. If you cut things short, then you have a problem. Now that's much better. Now I'm going to take a two inch hole saw and drill a hole for the discharge in the side of the pit. I'm basically right above the inlet line now. So this is much deeper and will be much more secure and safe. Even though PVC is quite strong, we just don't want someone to take a shovel and break this pipe. So drill a hole for your discharge of the sump pump. And double check it. Just slide your piece of PVC through. Make sure that it's ready to be secured and glued. Now we're ready to go ahead and glue all our pieces together. Always apply a good amount of glue. We're going to slide this on down into the bottom, tie it together into the pump. Twist and turn. Push and hold. Next comes the 90. Good amount of glue. Push and hold. And we're basically ready to finish plumbing out to the street. Here you can see the inlet coming in the black pipe that's coming from the catch basins and also the discharge coming out from the pump. We'll finish plumbing this all the way out to the street. Now we have a nice clean trench. We're ready to install our catch basins. But we need to do one more thing and that's out here at the curb. Okay, so using our concrete saw, we've made a couple little cuts here where we're just going to chisel this out with the pry bar, and that two inch pipe from the pump is going to come up right out to this discharge and come into the curb. So there's our discharge coming out and we're going to hook all this pipe up, send it back to the pit. <clears throat> okay, so we've got a driveway that water has been just pulling across and just sitting in the drive. So it's actually uphill from here to the street. So we've put in two catch basins, one small 6x6, six six, another larger 9x9, nine nine, and this line actually runs all the way back to the sump pit where we've also hooked up the downspout into the sump pit. Then the pump has a two inch discharge and that pump now runs through the same trench and all the way out to the street. It may seem a little backwards but it actually works really well because there's no way to get that water to drain out here to the curb. So this is where it discharges. And you can see we've made a little V cut to let the water out. And here's our two inch discharge. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I 
guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.